Well, Crime Victim Services has a big fundraiser coming up, and the month of April is also big for them, too. So tell us more about it. We've got the Executive Director of Crime Victim Services, Amy Weaker, uh, bailiff with us today. And thanks for coming today. Hi, Holly. Thank you. Okay, so it, towards the end of April, what is it, April 23rd to the 29th, mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of an important week, isn't it? And Crime Victim Services wants to, to highlight and, and make sure we understand all about it. So tell us about that. Yeah, so National Crime Victims Rights Week is celebrated, obviously, all over the country. And really, the goal is to raise awareness and to amplify the voices of crime victims and survivors. We know that there's many needs, right, when there's been a victimization, whether or not those cases go to court, um, the, the needs of crime victims are significant. And so we want to be there um, to support those victims and to make sure that the community knows that we're there in support when those situations occur. And so it's very important for us to provide outreach and make sure that the community knows our services are accessible, um, whether or not they go through with prosecution um, so that we can serve community members and help the community um, heal in the aftermath of victimization. Right. Is, is that kind of part of their journey? I mean, you know, they've become a victim and they just need to know where to go and how to heal because you want to you want to try to get beyond that and that must be very difficult. Yeah. And so they're obviously those healing journeys are individual. And so we're really there to support the victim in the ways that are significant to them. And that includes a variety of services. And that's one of the benefits of our organization is we're comprehensive and can make sure we're attuned to whatever that victim needs. And you kind of uh, help all ages too, right? We do. We support um, children through elderly and we have specific programs that make sure we're paying attention to those po specific populations and we provide um, prevention work in the schools. We do advocacy in a variety of areas and then outreach again to those community um, members that we still need uh, and know that we need to reach and make sure that they understand that we're here as a support. Mm -hmm. the, of the victims that you've been able to help out and, and, and their survivors, do they eventually get to the point where they are like, want to speak out and want to celebrate, I guess you could say, that they, they have come this far? Sure. So again, those are all individual and unique, but we do. Um, you can see that that healing journey is different for everyone, but there's definitely some people that we would consider reclaim their voice, mm -hmm. right? And whether that's taking a stand to articulate what justice means for them, sharing that experience with others in the community, um, or coming back and saying thank you, right, to advocates who work for them. Those are a variety of ways that they show that they've made um, progress in that mm -hmm. journey. Well, Crime Victim Services needs help, and you guys can uh, attest to that by, you know, needing this fundraiser coming up, right? So that's how we can help out is go to this fundraiser. And it's a very unique, fun one coming up, too. So tell us about that. Yeah, we're super excited about this. And so as we talked about, we serve almost 5,000 victims a year and educate over 2,000 students in the community. And so this fundraiser supports that programming. These funds will be delivered back to those programs to further the work that we do into the next year. This is a very unique opportunity. This isn't a typical fundraiser, and we're really excited for the community to support this. It's called The Power of Imagination, and it helps us to further our vision of imagining communities free from violence and oppression. It's actually going to be a four-course meal and an evening of entertainment um, with the illusionist Krendel. We're proud to partner and team up with him and really, um, again, highlight this week, raise awareness, but have some fun and support the programming. Right, yeah. The power of imagination, I think that's such a good theme because, you know, yeah. the survivors can imagine having a better life and getting through all this. Yes, yes. We're very excited. This was the perfect opportunity for us to kind of connect um, our mission and vision with something uh, of this nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, and Krendel, you know, he's new to coming back to town and and he's opened up the stoa and, and he's cooking, he's doing the magic and the yeah. illusions. I mean, just it's going to be a fun evening. It's going to be great. You know, I've had the opportunity to sit on one of the, his shows, and I know he's done well with the shows he's brought back locally. I, I also believe it's important for the community to kind of show that, the, that this is a different type of entertainment that we can definitely uh, enjoy in a small town. And so this is a chance to support that as well. And so we're appreciative of that partnership. For sure. Yeah, okay, so it is April 28th at 6 o'clock at the Stowe in Delphus. 
People need to get tickets now, right? Yes. So they will. They can go to our website. Has some information about the event, but the primary spot is actually givebutter.com backslash imagine 2023 is the direct site to buy tickets. You can go on there. You can make your entree choice. Additionally, beyond the entree, we'll include an appetizer, salad, and dessert. And so that's the best place. If there's any questions about anything, they're certainly welcome to call our office. Right. Well, this is a unique opportunity. Hopefully, more events like this will be happening. But the point. Oh, important important part is part we're helping crime victim services exactly yeah. we appreciate any support of the community this helps us raise awareness and generate funds for programming all right well amy thanks for coming thank today thank you all right don't go away we'll take a look at the weather forecast next